Excuse me, Snow Run. I'm trying to make a legendary Pokemon video. You're kind of distracting me with your shininess over there. Easy. This is going to be your guide to getting the four sub-legendary Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So the mechanic is that you find these stakes in the ground and then you pull them up and after you get enough of them, the Pokemon will be available to catch. So instead of just showing you guys every location and video, which would kind of be worthless since you actually find a lot of these stakes through natural gameplay, I just say go on to Serebii. If you go onto a page for any route or end up at the interactive map, you can find it yourself. So the filters are standard and then you can just kind of click all the stakes that you're looking for and then find them on the map, go to this area, it's very accurate, and then you can just pull up all the stakes and find the legendary Pokemon. But the location of where you find them is what matters. After pulling out the stakes, you need to go to where the legendary Pokemon is sealed. For Ting Lu, that is going to be north of Castle Royal Lake in this little part right here, but there's more to catching a legendary Pokemon than just showing up, so let's do a know your enemy kind of deal. So Ting Lu has outrageous stats. These legendary Pokemon are very tuned for this. Very high amount of defense, good amount of attack, high amount... Okay! Okay, the legendary Pokemon are busted. 155 on the hit points, 110 on the attack, so it's going to be a pretty bulky Pokemon, but also slow. And the thing we need to pay attention to is the catch rate of 6 and the dark ground typing. So use that to your advantage. A catch rate of 6 means it's going to be a bit easier than catching the second legendary Pokemon, which has a catch rate of 3. Now, I wanted to see how I could make this easy, so if you go over here under the cave, there's actually a Terra Garchomp that's level 65. So my thought is, will this Garchomp work? I put False Swipe on it just in case, make sure to save your game, I already did, and then go and take on the Legendary Pokemon. Alright, the Pokemon is level 60 and Vessel of Ruin lowers special attack, so I didn't put anything into this Garchomp, and I'm just going to touch it with an Earthquake see where that puts us okay this boy is bulky ruination does does a good amount of damage all right and i could also uh, use liquidation get a little bit more damage out of it it's like another earthquake into a false swipe should be good we also have like level 100 pokemon or something i forgot to throw a quick ball that's how you do it in style so yeah we can revive garchomp Oh, I thought it was going to use something else that would just KO me. So these battles, like, yeah, that, that's how easy it is. I don't have to set up or build some kind of crazy team. I just caught the free Terra Garchomp that's in the game, and I'm using it to catch the legendary Pokemon pretty easily. All right, that makes sure we're at one hit points. All right, so once we get it down to one hit points, which is pretty easy, we just kind of throw Ultra Balls at it and hope for the best. So Karadon, level 100, pretty strong. Oh! Unless you misclick, which is why we save the game. Easy on the Dusk Ball at night. All right, let's go and get some of the other ones. The fear poured into an ancient ritual vessel had clad itself in rocks and dirt to become a Pokemon. That sounds very cursed. Here's where you find Chin Pao. Here are the stats. 120 attack, 135 speed. Ice typing could be a little problematic for the Garchomp, but again, these don't really seem like too crazy of fights. And worst case scenario, I guess Quaquavel bails us out or something. Oh, Garchomp needs to be healed. Sword of Ruin lowers defense. I think we're in trouble on this one. I'm just gonna throw the Earthquake, hope it chunks. We're just dead. Okay. Wow. Okay. That was really easy. My recommendation, do this at night. Dusk Ball from half after three attempts. Okay. Pokemon can control 100 tons of fallen snow. Crazy. Plays around innocently by leaping in and out of avalanches it has caused. Oh, how adorable. All right, so in this cave, you can find Chi Yu, a frail dark fire goldfish. Interesting. Oh yeah, also that Ruination attack always does half of the Pokemon's current health, which is why it looked so spooky initially. That's about it. Controls flames burning at over 5400 degrees Fahrenheit. It casually swims through the sea of lava it creates by melting rock and sand. Huh, and it's only like a foot tall. 
and barely weighs anything. So it's not like, oh, this thing's just melting entire mountains and creating like a cascade of volcanoes. No, it's like kind of creating its tiny little river. That's kind of cute. Alright, so I went and stocked up on Dusk Balls, but then it became daytime. So you can go to the main city and there's a Chansey Supply here and a Della Bird Gift here, which is where you can buy the balls. So this is also where it gets interesting since you don't need to really soft reset for Pokemon anymore. Bottle caps into hyper training is easy. You can buy bottle caps at the Delibird store. And Chansey Supply has nature mints. So you just need to simply catch the legendary and fix the problems later. And that leaves us with Wo Chin. I hope that's pronounced correctly. So you can find that just to the east of the lighthouse right here. And guess we going for it. I forgot to save. All right. No shot. No shot. Oh, okay. Or it's that easy. That's a six catch rate with the quick balls sometimes on legendary Pokemon. Also, like I said, I think it's a cool flex if you throw that out competitively and then they go, did that jerk get it first try with the quick ball? The grudge of a person punished for writing the king's evil deeds upon wooden tablets has clad itself in dead leaves to become a Pokemon. What? Alright, that wasn't really too bad. Getting the stakes took more time than catching the Pokemon, and even that wasn't terrible because I already found some during my normal playthrough. So just catch them, get it out of the way, and like I said, fix the problems later. So overall, we didn't do too terribly bad. Ting Lu has three IVs, but then we got lucky. Four IVs on Chin Pao and Chi Yu. Like, that just saves a bottle cap, kinda. And then, yeah, we have whatever on the natures so if you want to know how to use these pokemon competitively just like comment subscribe notification bell keep checking back haven't gotten to the move set yet on these guides because there's so much to do to optimize pokemon scarlet and violet and once you have like a giga awesome save file then you're just spitting out competitive pokemon and this is going to be like the best competitive quality of life pokemon game but that means I haven't even begun to look into the Pokemon and what they're capable of. Some of them seem pretty strong, but I was really caught off guard by Ting Lu's stats, and then the other Pokemon have different stat distributions, some of which are okay, some of which aren't really. Then the abilities also come into play. So I'm not really sure how crazy it's going to get, but these two look very strong. Goldfish might be decent, and then probably good because of the bulky stats, and maybe it gets some, like, nasty move set or something um as for getting your second legendary pokemon and another karidon or miridon well to get to that point you have to go through the story and the story effectively shows you where the pokemon is and i did a video of me catching and training this bad boy so you can check that out in the description down below so comment your thoughts down below tell me what you think about these pokemon catching them the guide all of that stuff i think i did a pretty good job because it's about accessibility like if you're just out there wandering around trying to catch legendaries oh Turns out the Garchomp just kind of makes it free, and you should just have a level 100 Pokemon from all the other resources you've gotten, and then you can just kind of stall it out or chip away at, po at these guys, and that's not too hard to catch. And maybe that just kind of helped you out go, you know what, I'm going to go out and get them, because normally I dread getting the legendary Pokemon, but it wasn't bad. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.